We're now going to look at the image text blocks in the blocks plugin. And so I'm going to select the image text block here at the bottom by clicking on the icon. And that's going to create a new block on our page and it has a green border which signifies that it is an image text block. Now the functionality of this block type is the same as the text block, but the important difference here is that anything we put in the image text block will be converted into an image when you export or publish your website. And so we are able to style our text in an image text block with any font we want and it will look correct on all browsers and on all computers regardless of what fonts are installed because it's not using those fonts, it's using an image. And so we're able to style our text any way we like. So let's do that. I'm going to click into the block and add some text. And so right now, if I can type it in, right now we just have plain text in our image text block and when we preview that, it displays as plain text. But when I try to highlight the text, I get this behavior and this is indicative of an image. When you have an image you can click and drag it around and it is all um, together as one image. And so we see the blue box here that is defining the borders of our image text block and then of course we have the text itself that we've added. And so it's converting it or previewing it as an image in the preview mode here in RapidWeaver. Well, let's style this because there's no point in having plain text in an image text block. So I'm going to drag this out a bit so we can make it larger. And I'm going to highlight my text. I'm going to go down to the fonts panel, open that up, and I'm going to choose a font that is surely not going to be on all computers. So let's choose this one eccentric. And let's make it large. Let's do 48 pixels there. I'll close that out and drag it to make it all fit. And I'll just add some color for the heck of it. So let's do this blue. Now when I preview, we get our image and you can see that it is an image and it's resized because of my text block. And now the blue um, box is larger in width. And so we have our font here correctly previewing and it will do that in all browsers on all computers. Let's go back and look at a few other ways we can style this. I'll select my text again. Go back into the fonts panel and up here at the top we see an option for adding a shadow and so I can click text shadow and that adds a shadow here and we can start to see it here in edit mode and I can adjust that with these sliders. I can make the, um, the shadow behind it um, uh, more obvious or more opaque and I can position it, make it disappear and here's the positioning, drag it out further away or put it up closer and I can even rotate. So I'm moving the placement of the shadow behind the text. And so I can do these different things with the fonts panel and I'll, add, I'll increase the uh, or decrease the opacity a bit. There we go. And I might not like exactly, let's put it right there. So now I've done some more styling of the text and that's going to display just fine. And so we have um, our font added with the shadow, and this is um, the image that is created. Now it's important to note that this is not a text block. And so if we go to the inspector, and under the content tab, this text tab, this, these settings do not affect the block. And so we're not going to be doing any um, formatting of the block with these options, but neither are we going to be doing any formatting with the image block. Although this is going to eventually be an image, right now it's actually not. As we edit it in Rapid Weaver, it is still technically text, and so we're not going to have the options to add an alt tag or a file name or choose a format here because this is not yet an image. It only becomes an image on preview or on export and publish. So in, as far as edit mode is concerned, it's still text, and so we're not able to format this as an image. It's also important to note that any um, text that you put in an image text block cannot be um, indexed by Google or other search engines. Um, plain text is indexed and um, helps with search engine optimization for your website through the, through the uh, search engines, but an image will not do that. And so um, I would use this feature of blocks sparingly 
if you really need to display a unique specific font then I would just do that with um, a limited amount of text if possible or maybe just um, a heading or something along those lines but I would definitely not style all of your content all of your text content with an image text block because then it won't be useless as far as search engine optimization is concerned and images can be optimized with alt tags but like I said this is not yet an image and so we cannot define an alt tag for this block and so it's important to note that this should be used sparingly and just in cases when you really need to display a certain unique font for your site but otherwise you're able to add as many of these blocks as you would like to each page you can use different fonts for each and different sizes and styles and so it's really um, unlimited in terms of what you can do but um, like I said it's important not to develop all of your content with the image text um, because that will not do any benefit to your search engine optimization for your website and so with that information you should be ready to go with the image text block and so we'll conclude this tutorial